Hey there, Matt here. Last week I talked about the different hardware that I use to make my videos. This week I'm going to talk about software. There's uh, several pieces of software that I use to make the videos and uh, I'll list them off first and then I'll go into a little bit more detail. So first of all I use the um, Insta360 app that uh, you can use with the uh, Insta360 One camera. I also use uh, LumaFusion for editing. Uh, I use the YouTube app on uh, my devices. I also use uh, YouTube Studio uh, and um, like I showed a couple weeks ago the Pablo app. There's a couple of other apps that I've used in the past. I don't use them as much anymore but I thought I'd go ahead and mention them uh, because they are useful apps and um, I use them a lot when I had my Ricoh Theta S before I got my Insta360 One. And those apps are Roll World and Snapseed. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the apps. So, oh crap, it's starting to rain. So we won't look at the apps right now because I don't want to, you know, get things ruined. All right, looks like the rain may have passed by. It doesn't really look like it did much, but it was enough to kind of freak me out. I didn't want my gear to get ruined. So. On to discussing the software that I use in a little bit more detail. Open up my iPad here. Look, look, look over here. All right. So the first thing is Insta 361 app. So if y'all have an Insta 361, then y'all probably used this before. Um, I don't use a whole lot of the uh, the editing stuff that's built into this app. I mostly just use it for. Uh, capture when I have the camera connected to it by Bluetooth. I use it that way so that I can see what I'm doing. I also use it for downloading the video or the photos onto my iPad or onto my iPhone so that I can do other stuff with them. So that other stuff that I do is on to the next app which is LumaFusion. It is a um, really, really well-made um, editing software that uh, there's a bunch of other videos that other people have made about it, but it is uh, specifically for iOS. Uh, I've used it on my phone for a while. When I got my iPad, I started using it here. Uh, it is probably the best, most fully featured mobile video editing software that I've seen. Um, it allows for uh, up to three tracks of audio and three tracks of video. Um, you can pull from um, your albums that you have on your device. You can pull from remote devices as well, uh, remote storage as well. Uh, so that is a, a great tool. The other one that uh, I use is just the, uh, the YouTube app. Uh, I'm sure you all are all familiar with that. I use it for um, uploading. You can upload by pushing the little camera icon there. I've got another video where I talk about uploading through the YouTube app. Uh, so there's that. I use the YouTube Studio app for editing the text and the description and the different things that go into my videos. Uh, you can do thumbnails, the title, descriptions. Uh, you can set the privacy levels. Uh, you can do tags, all the different things that you can do uh, from YouTube uh, through a web browser on a computer, you can do here, or at least most of them. Maybe not all of them, um, but there's a lot of very handy things here. You also have um, analytics that you have access to. Uh, I've just recently hit 20 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Just wanted to uh, say thanks to you guys for subscribing. And if you think about it, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. I appreciate that. All right, the other app that I was going to talk about is the Pablo app. It is, um, you can get a free version of it, or you can get the paid version of it. Um, it is an app that allows you to capture light trails. I've got another video where I talked about this, so I'll, I'll probably just put a link to that. But basically what it does in the free version that I've used, I haven't used the paid version, but the free version allows you to uh, just push a button, capture light trails, and um, create some pretty neat stuff. 
Sometimes it crashes in the free version. Oops. So those are the apps that I was going to talk about today. Um, like I said, I was, I've also used in the past Roll World and Snapseed. I don't have them on my iPad. Um, I can show them on my phone. Roll World is a neat app that has a free version and a paid version. I've got the paid version here. Um, the paid version, I believe, adds the ability to do video as opposed to just stills. Mostly what I've used um, this for is for doing uh, tiny planets, which is what it's best at. So there's that. Snapseed is the other one, and it basically allows you to do some editing of different photos that you've taken, whether they're 360 or they are regular, um, regular photos. So it does uh, some color editing. It has a lot of different other tools that you can use. And really that's, um, that's all I'm going to go into right now. Uh, so that's sort of a quick overview of the different tools that I use. I'm starting to get some sprinkles again. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you again for watching. Like I said earlier, like and subscribe. And until my next video, I'll see you around.